Beautiful inner west of Sydney. The umpire raises the ball aloft. It'll be North Melbourne going to the right of screen. King in the ruck once again for them. Second siren here, but we are underway. Montana Ham, after such a good performance last week, she's involved heavily early, unsurprisingly for Sydney. Kicking up and finds Sophia Hurley. Umpire asks her to play on. So inside 50, the Swans go, looking for their tall targets. It's a good mark taken by Brooke Sheridan in defence for North Melbourne. Former Brisbane Lions Academy member, Brooke Sheridan. All Swans at the top of the 50, though. They can go back inside again. Short ball, couldn't find Gardner. King's there for North Melbourne. And the umpire will have a ball up. Laura Gardner had such an amazing game last week. 47 disposals and 14 tackles. You imagine she'll be picking up plenty of the footy again today. Here come the Swans. Sophia Hurley with it. One of the inclusions this week. Kick in board and Chloe Malloy has an early mark about 30 metres out from goal. Chloe Malloy playing her first VFLW game since 2021. Such a star of the AFLW competition. No need to play VFLW most of the time. So Malloy for the first goal of the afternoon. Certainly got the distance. She knows her way around goal, Chloe Malloy. She's got the Swans first. Good crowd here as well for the Swans. Plenty of Swans fans turning out. Of course, the Swans... AFL men's team have a bye this weekend, so a few Swans fans are going to take the opportunity to watch their club. And Malloy, first goal on the board, 59 AFLW games to her name for 55 goals and just a little bit of push and shove with Audrey Rhodes in the middle of the grounds. Malloy's <laughs> trying to get his way through the push and shove. Still Rhodes and Malloy going at it. Careful, both of them, not to give away a free kick. Away we go again. Malloy will follow this one up. Gardner gets there first, though. Soccer's forward. Chance now for the Swans to go quickly back to back. Gardner gave the hand pass but couldn't find her teammate. Sheridan's there for North to clean things up. They'll take a ball up here, North Melbourne, and that's what they get. Hamilton and King in the ruck once again. King won it down. Only as far as Vale. Her kick forwards. Big pack of players around it. Chance though for the Swans. Hand pass back in board for Hurley. Here's Malloy for a second. That'll work. Takes the mark. And the Swans have got two. Bella Smith kicks the Swans second. Malloy with the assist on that occasion after kicking the first one. Two early ones here for the Swans. They lead two goals. 12. North Melbourne still yet to score. Now the Swans had an impressive display in their first VFLW match last week. Big winners over the Western Bulldogs, 12-12-84 to the Bulldogs, 3-4-22. I've got plenty of AFL-listed talent out there today, the Swans. None for North Melbourne, though. Of course, North Melbourne are playing for premiership points, but not the Swans. Back underway again. King follows up the ruck, but hand pass stolen by Gardner. Inside 50 go the Swans. Big pack, big crashing ball. Still the chance there for Sydney. Umpire will ball this up at the top of the 50. And in fact, holding the ball. Dragged it in, did King. No, two on one there. For the Swans. Here's Bella Smith again, tackled. Rhodes couldn't get the kick away. Ball spills loose though. It's shot on goal for Sydney. They've got three. <laughs> Amy Whelan kicks the Swans third. This is a hot start for the Red and White. The Swans go bang, bang, bang. Three goals in the opening minutes. North Melbourne. I don't even think they've been inside 50 yet. A 
So the Swans goal kickers, Chloe Malloy, Bella Smith and Amy Whelan. Exactly the start that Scott Gowans was looking for. This one's using this VFLW little patch. They're playing five games and using it as a bit of a pre-season. Looks like we've got a 6-6-6 warning for North Melbourne. So we get underway again. This time, North Melbourne win the clearance and can go forward. Kennedy was there for Sydney to jock. Big tackle laid. And now the Swans force the turnover. Ham coming loose with it. Gets the one-two. Couldn't pick it up on the second occasion. Was being held, though. Ham wins the free kick. Plays on. Sees something in the corridor that she likes. Chance for the Swans through Paris McCarthy. That's a good kick. Beraldson. Inside 50. It's all North Melbourne. King with the intercepting mark in defence. Not a great kick, though. Malloy's able to get a spoil in. Swans have got the numbers. Malloy did well with the body work. Hamilton. Brown. We'll probably take a stoppage here, North Melbourne. Ball just staying in play for the moment. Nice hand pass over the top. Finds Tierney. She gets a hand pass away. Sydney have just got all the numbers around this ball, though. And inside 50, they go through Paige Shepherds. It's a nice intercepting mark. Xanthos' kick doesn't find the target. Straight to Holly Cooper. Kicked three goals last week. Holly Cooper. Thought about the hand pass to Hamilton, but Hamilton wasn't watching. So deep the kick goes. And that's a really nice mark taken in defence by Jess Jones. And Swans with three early goals here. North Melbourne struggling to exit defensive 50. Talia Mai with it now, and her kick is intercepted by Malloy. Malloy plays on, goes to the hot spot. Just wasn't on the same wavelength as her teammates there. North Melbourne. Umpires picked out a free kick. will be going... will be going the way of Sydney. A chance for a fourth for the Swans. Cynthia Hamilton without the headgear today. So for number four for Sydney from directly in front, this has been a hot start for the Swans. Hamilton, 17 disposals and a goal last week. And a goal this week as well. The Swans have got four halfway through this opening term. They are dominating at Henson Park. There is a big golf in AFLW listed players playing today. None for North Melbourne, all coming from the VFLW list. The Swans, on the other hand, 19. 19 out of their 21 players playing today are AFLW listed. Of course, no premiership points up for grabs for the Swans, but a good chance to use this as a pre-season. These five games that the Swans and the Giants are playing in the VFLW season. Number two for the Swans after a big win last week. Giants had a win as well. And umpire throws the ball up. Hurley. A little soccer to herself, but couldn't regather. Barber taking in a tackle. They just cannot arrest this momentum at the moment, North Melbourne. Meyer trying to do her best. Scott kicks it forward. Here's to Jock. Rhodes couldn't pick up it, pick it up cleanly. Kennedy. Got some sort of a kick away. Shepherds. Nice tackle led by Alana Barber and we'll have a stoppage. 22 disposals last week for Alana Barber. North Melbourne's Narrow loss to Casey. Here's a chance for North Melbourne. Finally, they're inside forward 50. De Jock well, evades one tackler. Has the shot on goal. Bouncing, bouncing all the way to the line. Just needs a socket through and North Melbourne have their first. Renee Tierney kicks the Kangaroos first. 
Finally, they have the answer. Four goals to the Swans. They lead 24 points to six. One goal to North Melbourne. No behinds for either side. So Renee Tierney gets on the board for North. 15 disposals and a goal last week for Tierney. And now she's on the board this week as well. Back in the centre of the grounds. Malloy in pursuit for Sydney. Barber with the ball at the bottom of the pack and we'll have a repeat stoppage in the centre of the grounds. Smith wins the hit out. Shepard, hand pass over the top looking for Malloy but intercepted by Meyer. North Melbourne can take the ball forward now. Just over the head of DeJock. Davies was there for the Swans. Didn't dispose of it correctly, and that'll be holding the ball. North want to go quickly. That won't be allowed. Play had absolutely stopped. Cannot take the advantage there. I'll be coming back for Emily Paterno to take the free kick. And now it's a crowded forward line that North Melbourne will be kicking to. Hand pass for Brooks Sheridan, but just took the momentum off her. Hand pass to nobody in particular for Sydney, but the space will work. King just had too much size towards the boundary line. Still staying in for the moment. It's right on that boundary line. And we will have a throw in. North Melbourne only have a loss this VFLW season because of a match-winning goal last week in the dying minute against Casey. Sheridan keeps it in. Hand pass out of field of play. And that'll be a Sydney free kick. Intercepted straight away, King. And North Melbourne... Doing better in the last few minutes. Big pack of players around it. The umpire will ball up. Seven wins, seven losses last year for North Melbourne in their VFLW season. Just missing the finals. And towards the boundary line we go. Sydney have got the numbers. Dangerous kick back in the corridor. Sheridan stood underneath it. Malloy did well to spoil. Looking for Kennedy running past. This is slick pay from the Swans. Gardner back to Kennedy. Hamilton's inside 50. One on one. Really well done by Hales. Still Sydney have the numbers. Hamilton. That's going to be a free kick for holding the ball. She didn't have a whole lot of options. Nicole Hales. She was outnumbered. She had have gotten rid of the ball. There was three or four Sydney players that would have swooped on it, so holding the ball in and giving up the free kick might not have been the worst move. Nice chip. And we've got the debutant, Brooke Bailey, to have a shot on goal. Bailey from the East Coast Eagles in the northwest of Sydney. Hey, Brooke Bailey. On debut for a goal. That's a popular one for the Swans fans here. And every single Swan on the ground is going to get to her all the way from fullback. Brooke Bailey has a goal in her VFLW debut. The Swans have got five. That's five straight. 30 points for the Swans. North Melbourne, one straight six. 24 point lead for Sydney. Always nice to see a debutante getting on the board. Five, in, five different goal kickers so far for the Swans. Bailey joins the list. Cynthia Hamilton, Chloe Malloy, Bella Smith and Amy Will and the others. Renee Tierney with the only goal for North Melbourne. Montana Ham, the leading disposal winner on the ground with six. 
Now underway again. Gardner looking for Ham. Ham will get it back. Runs inside 50. Long shot at goal. Needs a good bounce and won't get one. That's the first behind of the afternoon. This one's 5 1 31. Plays North Melbourne six points. Seen Montana Ham getting plenty of the footy early after five goals and 20 disposals last week. Malloy with another defensive spoil. She's done some good defensive things so far this game, as well as her goal and plenty on the offensive side as well. Okay, thrown back in. Hamilton just got a little hit out on it. Bailey's hand pass didn't find a teammate. There's a debutante for North, the Irish woman McLaughlin involved in the play. Looks like it'll be a turnover now. Bottom of the pack. We'll get a stoppage just at the top of the Swans forward 50. King and Hamilton contest the ruck once again. Hamilton went back and got it. Hand pass forward to Beraldson. Found a bit of space, did Montana Beraldson. High kick into the pocket. Chance for Sydney. Shot on goal, the banana from the tight angle. Just across the face. We'll have a throw in in the pocket. And Matilda Zander playing her 50th VFLW game today. Coming across from Collingwood VFLW in the off-season. So Sydney have got some numbers here. Malloy did the body work. To the top of the goal square now. Touched. Won't be a mark. Cooper was there for the Swans. Beraldson. Sydney have got the numbers around this pack. It's going to be holding the ball. They're going to win the free kick, Sydney. And Parrish McCarthy will have the shot at goal for the Swans. Giving up some free kicks early, North Melbourne. Just not making an attempt to get rid of that ball. I'm sure it was dragged in. And Paris McCarthy, six AFLW games to her name. Missed that one and that will be a minor score. Ticking down towards quarter time here at Henson Park. Dominant, dominant first quarter it's been from the Swans. No, North Melbourne try to clear defensive 50. Go for the big target in King. Still they'll play on Gardner. Gets the hand pass. Davies involved. Back to Gardner. Gardner gets a third possession in this chain. Kicks long. Looking for Hamilton. Still the chance for Sydney. Sarah Grundon. Her kick. Didn't go as planned. Now North Melbourne up the corridor. McLaughlin's got some, bit, got some space. McCarthy shadow down well, though. Great tackle. And that forces the turnover for Sydney. They should have the numbers to deal with this appropriately, the Swans. They get the kick out towards the wing, towards Beraldson. She's got some pace, Montana Beraldson. Uses it to her advantage to create some space for herself. Kick, perhaps not her best effort. And trickles out of bounds. We'll have a boundary throw in. A 26 point lead for the Swans as we tick down towards quarter time. Chance for a late one. King could have plucked that out of the ruck. Instead, tried for the hit out. Montana Ham. Her hand pass finds Gardner. We want to get a kick away here, Sydney. They do. Doesn't find a target. Still, they've got a chance, though. Hand pass just missed Malloy. Still for Sydney. Malloy can have the snap. Beats one, does Chloe Malloy. Beats a second. Goes the unselfish route, and that's very nicely done from Chloe Malloy. Finds Laura Gardner, who will have a shot, likely after the siren, here at Henson Park. That's terrific play from Chloe Malloy. 
And there is the quarter time siren. So Laura Gardner. 47 disposals and 14 tackles last week. An incredible game. She's playing well again so far today. A kick has got the distance. So the Swans have got six. Six in the opening quarter. A dominant, dominant turn for the Swans. 6 to 38 North Melbourne just with the one goal. Very With six, King the Ruckman for North Melbourne. The best for the Roos with four. Underway once again. Hamilton wins the hit out this time. Barber couldn't quite collect it cleanly for North. Hamilton, and we'll have a repeat stoppage in the centre circle. It's like a block played in the ruck. Going to be going the way of Hamilton. She wasn't back over the mark. So we'll have to come back and do it again. Short kick for Shepard. Call to play on. Gets the one-two pace Shepard. Ham tackled as soon as she was given it. That's nicely done by North Melbourne. King wins the hit out. Shepard's able to take win it back though. Malloy is at the bottom of that pack. We'll have another stoppage. few stoppages to begin this second quarter. It's a very open and free-flowing first quarter. Sydney with plenty of goals. Hamilton's tap. One this time by North Melbourne. And inside 50, they go through Elizabeth Jackson. Paterno's there. Her hand pass, probably not to anyone in particular. She gets another chance, though. This time a kick forwards. Vale's there for the Swans. Needs to be quick, and they are. And that's a great kick to find Montana Ham. Out wide. Shepard's running back with it. Instead, it gets to Bella Smith. The left footer back into the corridor. Dangerous kick, but it's going to work nicely. Hurley finds Malloy just outside 50. Kick looking for Montana Beraldson. Just bounced in front of her. Still, she's there, Beraldson. North do it well and earn themselves a stoppage. Good defensive work there from North Melbourne. A king. Wins the hit out. Hurley's there for the Swans. Shepard. Umpire's picked out a free kick and it'll be a throw. So going the way of North Melbourne. Chiara Delia with the ball. A late inclusion to this North Melbourne side today. Mara McSweeney not out there after being named on the initial team sheets. Here's Malloy. Another intercepting marker. Defensive work's been just as impressive as her offensive work so far today. Playing a first VFLW game in a few years. Beats one. Malloy from outside 50. Not her best kick. Intercepted by Hales. That's not her best kick. Out on the full across the face of goal. Just trying to get the ball from under the car. We've got it now. Backwards comes the kick. Paige Shepard takes the mark. Perhaps a little too far out to score, so he looks for a short target and finds it. Bella Smith will line up for her second. One of the inclusions today, Bella Smith. It's coming back nicely. That's a great kick from Bella Smith. She's got her seconds. And the Swans extend their lead once again. 7-2-44. North Melbourne just the one goal. Perhaps there is quite a big gap in talent today. The Swans with 19 of their 21 on the field, well, including the bench, 19 of their 21 today are AFLW listed. North Melbourne without any AFLW listed players. Of course, no premiership points up for grabs for Sydney, but there are premiership points up for grabs for North Melbourne. Looks like at this stage, 
They won't be picking up any of them. Back in the centre again. King thumping hit out forwards. Ham was in pursuit for the Swans. Kennedy there too. Umpires picked out a free kick. Going the way of Sydney and Kennedy. Nice kick for Image and Brown. Swans Academy products. One of the players that is an AFLW listed today. Of course, Brooke Bailey, the other debutante, who got on the board with a goal in the first quarter. DeJock couldn't get a hold of it for North. Kennedy, her kick smothered. Perhaps a chance for North here. Free kick picked out to North. They'll take the advantage. Running towards goal is Renee Tierney. Gets a nasty bounce, but it works for DeJock. Takes on the tackler. Gets the hand pass away. Still the chance for North. DeJock can go again. Slaps it backwards into the path of one of her teammates, but it didn't work. Needs to be quick, and that's gone. Holding the ball. North Melbourne will get the shot at goal. Zara Flanagan lays the nice tackle directly in front of goal for North Melbourne. But misses. That's a wasted opportunity for Flanagan and for North. You need to be capitalising on that. A Swan 7-2-44 lead. North Melbourne 1-1-7. Very accurate Sydney in front of goal today. Here's Montana Ham. Nice mark. She's been in sparkling form, Montana Ham. Wide looking for McCarthy. That's a nice mark. The jock probably overcommitted, and that allowed McCarthy the opportunity to play on, but that's a really nice intercept mark taken by Nicole Hales. She's been one of North Melbourne's best on what's been a difficult first little quarter and a half for them. Kicks it straight into the player on the mark, though. And that's been hand-passed out of play, so that'll be a Sydney free kick. Just need to be careful here, the Swans. Just with the interchange and the player taking the free kick, need to make sure that they didn't bring one too many on then. Here you go, the Swans. Gardner. Whelan. Gardner's in that pack as well and gets the ball free, but as soon as she did that, she was wrapped up once again. Bella Smith just bounced off her shoulder. Here's Meyer for North Melbourne. Inside 50 they go. It'll bounce in front of DeJock. Couldn't get possession. Shepard's there for the Swans. DeJock again. Lots of players around this pack. Eventually the kick comes from Scott. That's a nice intercept mark. For Sydney taken by Hassiger and now... I had some players running through the corridor. And that'll be 50 metres just inside the protected area. So Lauren, Laura Gardner will be the beneficiary here. She'll take her right to 50. Nobody on the mark for North Melbourne, so Gardner can take those few extra metres, have the shot towards goal, and a mark taken by Cynthia Hamilton. And that's a poor little patch of play for North Melbourne, giving away the 50-metre penalty and then not having anybody stand the mark. Now Cynthia Hamilton makes no mistake. And that's another for the Swans. 8-2, 50 up. North Melbourne, one one seven. So that's Cynthia Hamilton's second goal. She joins Bella Smith as a multiple goal kicker today. Twenty-one AFLW games to her name, Cynthia Hamilton. Ten goals at the top level. So back in the centre once again. 
Bella Smith in the ruck this time for the Swans. North Melbourne will win the clearance, though. Barber got the hand pass to Jones. Scott. Davies couldn't get a fist on it. Still the chances there for North. Umpire's picked out a free kick. It'll be going the way of the Kangaroos. Here's a chance for North. Kick inside 50. Looking for DeJock, who takes a nice mark going back with the flights. Uh, DeJock has been North Melbourne's weapon so far this VFLW season up forward. Five goals in three games so far this season. Lining up for number six. One goal last week, but then a very impressive 21 disposal, three goal performance the week before. De Jock. Lovely kick. De Jock's got North's second. They still trail. It's the Swans 8 2 50. North Melbourne 2 1 13. Sydney leading the key statistical indicators. Inside 50s, 15 to 6 in favour of the Swans. They're back in the centre of the ground. Umpire's picked out a free kick. Holding will be going the way of Audrey Rhodes. Long kick. Looking for De Jock again. Paterno flew high. Neither could mark. Swans will rebound. Gardner. A few North players around this footy. Jones. Barber went to tap it back. Lots of Sydney players around this footy. There were six of them on two North Melbourne players. And unsurprisingly, the Swans win out. That's a nice defensive mark. Taken by Xanthos. Kick across goal. Beraldson was able to get there with the fist. Browns tried to hand pass to herself, and it's going to work out. Gives the hand pass back to Beraldson. High kick. Ham is the target. Leading out, she couldn't quite get the mark. Hosking kicks along the ground. Ham there again for the Swans. Got the hand pass, and just the third hand pass in that chain was ill-directed. North Melbourne able to exit defensive 50. Meyer going back with the flight. Couldn't mark. Bella Smith takes the Swans back inside forward 50. Bailey, she's the popular one among the Swans crowd today, the debutante from East Coast. Towards the boundary line, McCarthy. North had the numbers, but it's out of play. And we'll have a boundary throw in. Of course, North Melbourne, a stalwart of AFLW Finals campaigns. Made each of the last four. Not quite been able to translate into translate that into VFLW success the last couple of years. I'll pile ball it up. Just inside the Swans Ford 50 here at Henson Park. And Jones following up the ruck work. Hand pass went looking for Barber but didn't find her. To the top of the goal square for the Swans. That's nicely done. A defensive work by Trisha Cowan to win the one-on-one -on -one in the goal square and then find the target with the kick. Now up the line. Looks like we'll have another stoppage. The VFLW debut today for Graeme McLaughlin as well. The Irish woman for North Melbourne. Brooke Bailey for the Swans. Chance for Sydney now. Brown inside 50. To the top of the goal square. Looking for a good bounce. And that's just off the wrong side of the boot. There'll be a Sydney free kick going the way of Montana Ham, tied up to the boundary line.
Looking for a pass at this stage, not eyeing up the goal. Instead, just sits it up. See if someone can fly. Sun in the eyes. A bit of a problem for the players there. Sheridan with it for North. The umpire will pull it up. Lots of players in pursuit of this. No one can get clean possession just yet. Gardner, of course she can. Gets the hand pass out. Here's Bailey. Little soccer, Berylson. That's another goal for the Swans. Montana Berylson with the snap. And that's number nine for them. 9-2-56, the Swans. 2-1-13, North Melbourne. Montana Berrelson with her first of the afternoon. Two goals and 18 disposals for her last week in the Swans' big win over the Bulldogs. They're back in the centre of the ground. Hamilton and King contesting the ruck once again. Malloy's there for the Swans. Hamilton takes the Swans forward. Cooper got the hand pass to Hurley. Here's Brooke Bailey in some space. Can have a shot, Bailey. Instead went the unselfish path. Chipped to a teammate. Whelan. Hurley. Berrelson for two in a row. Snap around the body. Just hooked it too far. North Melbourne. Final minutes of this first half. It's doing their best to try and clear defensive 50. We'll have a boundary throw in. And Malloy is just lurking at this stoppage. And there it is, slapped out to Malloy. You knew that's where the Swans were going. Towards goal. Just not going to quite have the legs. Still a chance, though, for Sydney with their crumb. Berrelson. Got a hand pass away. Bailey. Just offline. Minus score. Uh, two and a half minutes to play here at Henson Park. Hales brings North Melbourne out of defensive 50. Tierney gives away the free kick. And be a push going the way of Chloe Malloy. Malloy. Called to play on now. Goes to the top of the 50. Kennedy in some space. She played on. Drops the ball, but not during the tackle. So the umpire allows him to play on. Kennedy. Long kick. Looking for Berrelson. Got to the front of the pack. Did all the hard work, but couldn't hold on to the mark. Still a chance for Montana Berrelson. Got the hand pass away. Rolls towards the boundary lines and eventually goes out of play. Just got an injured player here for North Melbourne. It's Jess Jones. Just taking some time to get to her feet. Still not yet to her feet, Jess Jones. She's up now, Jones. Waves the trainer and the physio away, so we'll get back underway again. Final minutes of this first half. Big lead for the Sydney Swans. And chance to add to it here late on. Hamilton with the hit out. Whelan. Can't get a hand pass away and the umpire will pull it up. Uh, 
Hamilton. Hurley gets the kick towards goal. It's across the face. Through for a minor score. Now that should be the final score of the first half. Meyer takes the mark for the Roos. And there is the halftime siren. So Sydney continuing their dominance in the second quarter. They lead 9-4-58. The Swans. Giselle Davies moved into the ruck for Sydney. King for North Melbourne. Tierney. King. Probably held without it. Didn't get the free kick, King. Still North will go. Will try to go inside 50. Kick was smothered. Here's Gardner following up for the Swans. Hasegar. Chips ball up the line. Unable to be marked. Gardner goes back to get, to get it again. 1-2 with Whelan. Little chip for Davies. Gardner gets it back again. Multiple hand passes in this chain. Here's Beraldson. She was lively in the first half. Kick. Looking for Smith. Couldn't haul it in. Still fo following after it, Smith. Umpire waves play on. Still a chance for the Swans. Kick towards goal. Just across the face. From Sarah Grundon. Montana Ham heavily involved in that play too. She had a good first half. Leading disposal winners on the ground. Laura Gardner with 12. So to Montana Ham. Montana Beraldson with 10. And Malloy with 9. Best for North is Nicole Hales with 8. Kick. Touched. And it'll be a throw in. Giselle Davies in the ruck for the Swans. Traded from Gold Coast in the AFLW offseason. Heavy collision there. Not high according to the umpire. We'll have a ball up just at the top of 50. Malloy. Another stoppage. 46 points the margin and Shepherds great tackle by De Jock. ball spills loose Whelan a kick forward for Bailey had Grundon running past couldn't quite get the hand pass out to her ball is wrapped up once more we'll have a stoppage King wins the hit out. Sharks, though, by Shepherds. Grundon's kick to the top of the goal square. A few North players around it. Fist from Paterno. Here's McLaughlin. Didn't get a clean hand pass away, McLaughlin. That'll be a Swans free kick going the way of Bella Smith. Definitely got the distance here, Bella Smith. Inclusions this week, Bella Smith. For her third distance, never going to be a problem, and the line wasn't either. Bella Smith has three. The Swans have ten. It's 10 5, 65. The Swans lead by 52 points. North Melbourne, 2 1 13. Matilda Zander playing her 50th VFLW game out there for North Melbourne. VFLW debuts for Alice Mitchell and Sophia Hurley for the Swans. Of course, though, they play plenty of AFLW. Brooke Bailey on her VFLW debut for Sydney. Graham McLaughlin, the VFLW debut for North Melbourne. We had the 6-6-6 warning in the first half of North Melbourne. So now we've got a 6-6-6 freak kick. Giselle Davies 
takes it, finds Gardner, gives to Whelan. Inside 50 they go, nice and deep entry. Here's Smith for number four on the outside of the boot. Not quite. Three from line up score. Yeah. Sydney, well and truly the dominant side so far today. Davies. Myers kick out on the full. And be going the way of Vale. Not a great kick. Gets it back though. Inside 50 for the Swans. Beraldson has looked so lively in that small forward roll. Here she goes again, Montana Beraldson. Kick smothered. Smith tried. It's not a great kick. Paige Shepherds plays on. Chips. Big pack of players. Here's Beraldson. So much speed. And hits the post. She's looked so good so far today, Montana Berylson. Just the six AFLW games to her name thus far in her career. But if she's going to put performances like this together in the VFLW, she'll be an AFLW regular in no time. Here's another chance for the Swans. Bailey, the debutante for her second, just misses. Accuracy just deserting the Swans in this third quarter. They were really good up until half time. One goal and three behinds. One goal, four behinds for the Swans this quarter. Had nine goals, four behinds in the first half. Just seen over the boundary line there by Elizabeth Jackson. And here's Davies in the ruck again. Swans... Got an extra number at this stoppage. Rhodes taking in a tackle straight away. Here's Gardner. Got some space. Paris McCarthy runs to 45. Looks for a teammate in Bella Smith. Just over her head. Hales. Not a great kick to clear defensive 50. It just bounces inside the field of play, though. It'll be a boundary throw in. Good crowd here today, and we are wedged in the middle of some local footy as well. So the UNSW Bulldogs, plenty of them around. They're playing the game before and after, so there's good, good number of people here to watch the VFLW Clash here at Henson Park. Right, we'll have a secondary stoppage. In fact, we won't. Holding the ball is the call. It'll be a North Melbourne free kick. Xanthos in her first VFLW game of the year. Her kick not far enough to Jackson. So Xanthos goes again up the boundary line. Cam. Inside 50. Smith spilled the mark. Bailey's there. In some space. Little kick looking for Gardner. Shrugged off one tackle. Couldn't shrug off the second, but got the hand pass away. Here's Hamilton. Evaded one. North Melbourne have got some numbers here. Little kick. Malloy is there, and that's high. That should have been holding the ball. Malloy plays on, and it sneaks it through. Chloe Malloy's got her seconds. Swans deserve to go there. They've got 11 on the board. 11 8 74 for the Swans, North Melbourne, 2 1 13. Malloy joins the list of multiple goal kickers. No, Bella Smith with three, Cynthia Hamilton with two, and now Chloe Malloy with two Sydney's multiple goal kickers. DeJock and Tierney, the goal kickers for North Melbourne. Halfway through this third quarter. Sydney with a big lead. Chance now for Scott Gowans to see what he's like. Maybe spin the magnets around. Have a look at something for the upcoming AFLW season. Gardner 
Rhodes, soccer off the ground, only as far as Kennedy. Her kick missed its target as well, but Malloy came in late and gave away the free kick. Just too high there. And Meyer will take the free kick for the Roos. Dangerous kick up the corridor. They do have some numbers here now, though, North Melbourne. Nicholas, her kick finds Jackson. Inside 50 now, De Jock has got two to beat, but she's got the pace to beat him. Just needs the bounce to sit up for her. De Jock kicks her second. That's a nice bit of counter-attacking play from North Melbourne. Did it quickly through the corridor. And they've got their third. De Jock's got two of them. That's oh, the Swans, 11-8-74, North Melbourne, 3 one De Jock, seven goals in four games so far this VFLW season. Really good start to her year. No Smith. Ham in pursuit of De Cosmo. Another stoppage in the centre of Henson Park. No, Ham got the hand pass to Garner. They've combined plenty today. Smith hacks it out wide. Brown. And Hosking got the hand pass to Vale. Hosking goes again to Cosmo. Got the hand pass away. Here's McLaughlin. Just got the kick away in time. De Jock. Nice defensive spoil. Kennedy is there and did it well. Tanya Kennedy. Here's Shepard. That'll be 50 metres. They're just over the mark before the play on call. Twenty-two disposals last week for Paige Shepherd. Now she plays on, plenty of space in front of her. Kicks it long and deep. Bailey can fly. Here's Cooper for the Swans. Couldn't get the disposal away. Perhaps had prior. Umpire allows them to play on. Kilia is there for Sydney. Hales, Tini. Barber with the tackle, and the umpire will ball it up. Just at the top of the Swans' goal square. And it looked like perhaps a free kick for abuse there. Going to be going the way of Brooke Bailey. The Swans' debutante. When you're that far down, you do not want to be giving away silly free kicks like that. So Brooke Bailey on VFLW debut. Already kicked one in the first half. And now she's got two. Sarah King did her best on the mark to try and put her off. Bailey was too composed. That's two goals for Brooke Bailey. She joins the list of Swans' multiple goal kickers. And 80 points they've racked up. They are definitely on for a ton here at Henson Park. On track, the Swans for the highest VFLW score of any side so far this season. They got 84 points themselves last week. Box Hill, 98 in round two. So that's the mark. That was the mark. Box Hill also got 122 in round one against Casey. So Box Hill clearly the most attacking the side that's the biggest attacking threat so far this VFLW campaign. Inside 50, chance for North Melbourne. Georgia Nicholas in that contest. Hurley's there for the Swans. Scott lays a nice tackle for North and we'll have a ball up.
Barber. Inside 50. Kennedy was in a contest with Xander. Swans do well. They'll exit through Hausiger. Hand pass to Gardner. Now for Kennedy. Inside 50, the Swans go. Ham couldn't hold on to the mark. Here's Berylson. Appeared to have a little bit of a, an injury, a little bit of a stumble in the way to kicking that behind. Looks to be okay. Another point for the Swans. Jones's kick. Dangerous. A few Swans are able to get to it, force the stoppage. Gardner couldn't quite collect cleanly. Here's Mitchell. Grundon. Wide, and that's a nice mark. Brown's kick. Finds the teammates. The Holly Cooper will have the shot for the Swans. Three goals last week for Holly Cooper. Not yet on the board today, Holly Cooper, and she won't get the chance to this time. Chips for Chloe Malloy. Chloe Malloy, of course, won the VFLW Rising Star Award and was the leading goal kicker in the competition way back as an 18-year-old. Now she's a star of the AFLW competition. And Malloy from the tight angle across the face. Still a chance for the Swans, though. And behind the ball. And North get away with it there. Audrey Rhodes wins the free kick. So long up the line. Gardner just got an unfortunate bounce. Tierney did well. Now a chance for North up the line. Xander. Kick looking for Sheridan or Nicholas. It bounces favourably for Sheridan. Her hand pass went to Nicholas. Kennedy. Just stopped things with her foot and forced the stoppage. Nicely done by Tanya Kennedy. Six in the Swans, best and fairest last season, Tanya Kennedy. 12 AFLW games, all of those last year for the Sydney Swans. Whelan. Vale. Went to Grundon, who tried to go back to Vale, who was perhaps tackled before she'd even got possession of it. Certainly didn't have prior. Here's Brown, streaming through the centre of Henson Park. Tumbles a kick forward, but it's not a good one. Nicole Hales is there to clean things up. She thumps it up the wing for North Melbourne, looking for Scott, but didn't have the legs. Inside 50 now for the Swans, and there's Montana Ham. Difficult to turn over a quick turn, difficult to defend a quick turnover like that. Montana Ham will line up. Five goals last week. Montana Ham yet to be on the scoreboard in a major way today. Former pick one in the AFLW draft. Across the face, falls into the lap of Bella Smith. And some nice work there from Bella Smith just to get some space on Sarah King and ended up on an outsized opponent. With the outside of the boot, just to the near side. There are lots of behinds this quarter for the Sydney Swans. So not a good kick there out of defensive 50 out on the full, and it'll be going the way of the Swans and the way of Chloe Malloy into the final minute of this third quarter. Goes backwards to Davies. She goes backwards again. Vale's kick. 
Hassiger and Hurley. Perhaps now a chance. Running into goal for a late one. Tanya Kennedy. A late goal for the Sydney Swans. They went all the way across the top of the Ford 50. And Tanya Kennedy ends up as the goal scorer. The eighth different goal kicker for the Swans today. Tanya Kennedy gets her first, and there is the three-quarter time siren. It is a big lead for the Sydney Swans. 13-10-88, they lead North Melbourne at 3-1. It's just a star-studded group. If you look at the centre square at the moment for the Swans, Chloe Malloy, Montana Ham, and Laura Gardner, the three midfielders alongside Giselle Davies in the ruck. It's tough to compete against for these North Melbourne VFLW players. We are away in this final term. King in the ruck. Davies, the first clean possession. Got it straight out to Ham. And here's Paris McCarthy. Grundin. Back to McCarthy. Here's Gardner. Beraldson. Got the tap from Grundin. Into the pocket. And that's a good mark taken by Bella Smith. She's been the dominant tool on the ground. Kef, clever centering kick. And Kiara Hillier will have the shot on goal for the Swans. Traded from the Brisbane Lions in the AFLW offseason, yet to make her AFLW debut, Hillier. And she kicks truly. That's another goal for the Swans. 14 10 at 94. North Melbourne 3 1 19. Uh, Hillier. Making the trade from the Lions in search of more opportunity or an opportunity at AFLW level. So one of the new faces out there for the Swans that are AFLW listed. Giselle Davies is another, traded from the Suns. And then Sarah Grundon, Lara Hausiger and Holly Cooper, all from the draft. So plenty... To watch for Swans fans ahead of the AFLW season. The umpire just have that ball up again. Now Gardner getting the footy and she'll win the free kick just for a hold. In fact, it'll be going the way of Ham. Here's Grundon. Into the corridor for Malloy. Gives back to Grundon. Inside 50 now. Gardner. Kick towards goal. Needs a good bounce. And gets a favourable one. Hurley. Couldn't quite collect. Smith. Throws it on the left. Hilly is in pursuit for Sydney. No prior there. Xanthos. Nice tackle from Hamilton. Across the line for a boundary throw-in. The leading disposal winner on the ground is Gardner with 22 touches. Hales with 18, so too Montana Ham. So we'll have another stoppage here. Couldn't quite get a hold of it. Back now for Hillier. Ham. Gives to Gardner. Back for Hillier. Perhaps a hand pass too many in that chain for the Swans. I'll get another opportunity kick, but North Melbourne have all the numbers here. Jones. Taps forward, but Gardner's kick is touched, so this won't be a mark. They do it well, North Melbourne. And now Hosking has got a little bit of space. She can run kick. There's not one, no one really to go to. Dejok will get there late, but Davies is always favoured. Dejok did well to lay the tackle on McCarthy. Kennedy's there for the Swans. Tierney for North. De Cosmo. King gets the kick looking for Dejok. Sydney have got the numbers around this pack though. The hand pass is a good one. That's where North Melbourne had the numbers. Barber. Tierney. Sheridan. Just one North Melbourne player forward of the ball. That's where the kick goes. 
Now some numbers running forward to Jocks there, but Ham laying the bodywork on her. Mitchell shovels a hand pass out for Gardner. Sheridan with the closing pressure. McCarthy just got a hand pass away in time. In fact, didn't get a hand pass away in time. Umpire saying that was a throw, so it'll be a North Melbourne free kick. Going the way of Brooke Sheridan. Sheridan, the former Brisbane Lions Academy member. So Brooke Sheridan to get North Melbourne's fourth. Opens up the angle a little bit. That's a good looking kick. It's a great kick. Brooke Sheridan's on the board for North. They've got their fourth goal, so it's the Swans 14-10-94, North Melbourne 4-1-25. Going to be a big win today for the Sydney Swans. No points for them, though. They'll make it two from two in their five-match stretch in the VFLW Next week for the Swans, they've got Casey in Blacktown. North Melbourne next week. They box hill at Fenju Stadium. Box Hill City Oval. And Malloy now for the Swans. No North Melbourne player able to lay a tackle. Whelan's kick. Got to Grundon. And a great tackle laid... By Paterno. He'll play on Emily Paterno. Not her best kick. Coming at it was Mitchell. De Jock laying a nice tackle alongside McLaughlin. The ball spilled loose. Chance for North if they can collect it cleanly. Here's De Jock. De Cosmo and De Jock. De Jock going off the ground. Xander's hand pass went looking for Jackson. Vale did well to intercept for the kick. It's a bit of a floater. There's Ham for the Swans. Beraldson's got some space, and no one will catch her, Montana Beraldson. Too much pace. Hamilton. Hand pass over the top to the other Hamilton. Inside to the goal square, and Holly Cooper's got a goal. The 100 is up for the Swans. They raise the bat at Henson Park. Holly Cooper kicks the Swans' 15th goal of the afternoon. It has been a dominant display. Mentioned a couple of times, they do have a big AFLW list advantage today, the Swans. 19 of the 21 out there are AFLW listed. North Melbourne not playing any of their AFLW list this afternoon. Hundred up for the Swans and a 75-point lead, and they're going to go again. Malloy has a bounce, runs to the edge of 50, and that's a perfect kick. Right into the path of Lexi Hamilton. Hamilton can get on the board for her first. Cynthia Hamilton's got a couple already. Lexi Hamilton, lovely kick. She's got another for the Swans. They're absolutely dominating here at Henson Park. 16-10, 106. 81 points the margin. North Melbourne, 4 125. Lexi Hamilton joins the goal kickers for Sydney. Nine disposals today for her. Laura Gardner still the leading disposal winner on the ground with 24. Montana Ham with 20. Nicole Hale's the best for North Melbourne with 18. 
Ella Smith, 16 disposals to go with three goals and two behinds. She has been the dominant tool on the ground. Halfway through this final term. Looks like we've had another 666 violation from North Melbourne. They, well, there is a golfing class today with the AFLW list. North Melbourne are not helping themselves. They have made some silly mistakes. It's drop mark there from Hillier. So chance for North Melbourne. Paterno's kick for DeJock. If it gets over the back, they've got some space. There is the teammate. And not a good kick. McLaughlin's kick out on the full. Not quite the stacked hill we're used to seeing in Henson Park here for AFLW games, but there is quite a few who've made the journey out to Marrickville for this VFLW clash. So here's Renee Tierney for North. Just sits it up, looking for DeJock at the top of the square. Malloy now for the Swans. Gets the crumb. Up onto the wing. That's a nice mark from Cynthia Hamilton. Kick back into the corridor, trying to open things up. Lexi Hamilton and Laura Gardner were there. Gardner did the good body work. Gives the hand pass to Brown. Inside 50, Hurley. Had a few too many options, didn't know what to do. Back to Gardner. She normally makes the right decision. Just couldn't find Kira, Kira, couldn't find Kiara Hillier. Intercepting mark for North Melbourne, but not a good kick. Put themselves under a little bit of pressure here. Tini's kick was poor. Hosking is wrapped up and will have a stoppage. Shepherds for Brown. Gets a back Brown. Almost kicked it to herself. Through for a minor score. Going to be a big win for the Sydney Swans today. This sort of pre-season little stint in the VFLW ahead of their AFLW. That's uh, they're, I suppose they're treating this a bit like an AFLW pre-season. Tini takes a nice mark. Pumps it long up the line. Trying to get it over the back here for Scott, but that's a really good intercept mark from Lara Hausiger. One of the Swans draftees in action today. A potential to add to their, what was a very successful AFLW season last year for the Swans. They're second in the competition, making the finals and winning one as well. Now Gardner was just dispossessed. Hurley to kick. Not well directed. Meyer with the intercept mark for North Melbourne. Now Jackson. Shepard now for the Swans. Goes into the corridor looking for Gardner again. Plays on. And there's Hamilton. Just got a lot of space in this Ford 50 at the moment, the Swans. Now Cynthia Hamilton will line up for her third goal. Bella Smith. The only swan with three goals on the board today. Hamilton, it's a good looking kick. It's very, very nice from Cynthia Hamilton. She's got her third. The Swans are up to 17 goals. 17 11, 113. North Melbourne, 4 1, 25. So, they need two more goals, the Swans, to have the highest VFLW score for any team so far. Box Hill. Currently have that record, 122 points they scored in round one against Casey. 19 goals, eight behinds for them on that occasion. A 
the Swans moving towards their forward 50 again, but it was always North Melbourne keeping the ball in front of them. And Giselle Davies in the ruck for the Swans. Wins the hit out. Curley was the target. Shepherd's there too. Got a push in the back, did Paige Shepherd. So the ball will be coming back. Been totally dominant today, the red and white. Short kick. It's going to work. Whelan tried to collect the crumb from the contest that Cooper was in. And have a ball up at the top of the 50 for the Swans. And Malloy involved. Grundon was taken high. And Grundon with a free kick right on 50. Short looking for Smith. Just an important hand in from the North Melbourne defender, Rhodes. Tackled by Brown and the umpire will ball it up. Swans with the numbers once again. Montana Ham. See something out wide that she likes in Grundon. Gardner has made the run inside forward 50. Player on the mark about 40 metres out from goal. Gardner looking for a short option. Smith leads over her head. Rhodes. Hurley's there for the Swans. Cooper. Had the ball knocked loose. Malloy. Still bobbling around in there. Eventually, Maya comes free with it, but her kick intercepted by Grundon. Squaring ball looking for Gardner. Hurley tried to wrap it around. Instead, it goes towards the pocket, just out on the full. Too far for Chloe Malloy. No, nice defensive spoil there laid by Grundon. Malloy's kick, just a little grubber for Cooper. Hales. That's a nice tackle, no prior. Let's get the ball across the line. Another boundary throwing into the last few minutes here at Henson Park. Malloy gets loose. Got the hand pass to Gardner. Cooper. Nicely done by Jackson to win the turnover. Here's Sheridan. Couldn't quite trap it on the half volley. Kennedy. Backwards for Vale. Some red and white numbers out wide. That's where she goes for McCarthy. Wider still. Chance for a late one here for Sydney. To the top of the square they go. Montana Ham is the target and she plucks it. Just hauls it in, Montana Ham. She's tall enough to be that weapon forward of the ball. And also agile enough to play in the midfield. She's going to be a quality player for the Swans. Already has been. In our AFLW career so far. Got plenty of the footy today. This will be disposal number 22, but not goal number one. Two behinds today from Montana Ham. Laura Gardner, the leading disposal winner on the ground, up to 29. Not quite the lofty heights of 47 that she racked up last week, but still another very good game from Laura Gardner. North Melbourne try to exit defensive 50 this time. Kick up the line. Again, the Swans are just first to the footy. 
Xander, perhaps held after she was disposed. Hoskin. And pass forward inside 50 for the Swans. Killia gets it back. Hurley. Looking for Smith. Killia, Hurley, all involved. De Cosmo's there for North. De Cosmo was being held, so she'll win the free kick. Up the line. North just chipping around as the clock ticks down. Oh, big late hit. Block. That'll be a free kick. Going the way of North Melbourne. Looks to be okay, Renee Tini. Plays on. Inside 50, they go North Melbourne. Swans have got the two on one. And they work it out between them. And there is the full-time siren. A huge win for the Sydney Swans. 17-12, 114. Plays North Melbourne for 125. Cynthia Hamilton with three goals. Bella Smith also with three goals. Brooke Bailey with two. And Chloe Malloy with two, the multiple goal kickers for Sydney. Laura Gardner, no surprise, the leading disposal winner with 29. Montana Ham with 22. Nicole Hales with 21.